Good morning, everybody. Paradise Vlogs here. Today we're going to be talking with Liz, who is the super recycler of the family, something we're all very much behind, but she is very much spearheading for this family. And it's nothing amazing, but it's just something that we like to do. Uh, it helps us feel like we're doing our part uh, to create a better paradise. Yeah. Miss Lindsay, what Hi. says you? Well, um, we are very lucky in this uh, area, in the CRD, that we do have a lot of recycling resources available to us, uh, unlike other parts of the country. Some C come to our C curb. Sorry, CRD being... Oh, I'm sorry, the Capital Regional District, and it's... Uh, Victoria. Victoria For those and the who surrounding don't know, areas. <laughs> who don't know Vancouver Island. Right. Yes. Um, one thing that we do have to pay for, and it takes some effort, but we do as a family, is plastic bags, foil plastics, and and styrofoam. That's the stuff we have here, eh, Liz? Yep. So, so uh, sorry, yep. um, how many weeks worth of recycling would you say we have here? I would say this is probably since Christmas. So that's four months that's since four it's months. April. Yeah. yeah. And, um, it's pretty compacted, like we've really jammed a lot of this stuff full, especially with the plastic bags. You notice we've got one, Can Can you explain two, to people what, three. what it is that is in there? So, uh, obviously the, sh the soft plastic shopping bags, and a lot of grocery stores take these soft plastic shopping bags. These are the ones that stretch and rip. The Pacific Mobile Recycling, where we go, also takes, and I don't want to take it out because ew, um, the crinkly plastics, the ones that don't stretch. So we have soft plastic and crinkly plastic yep. in the same bags? In the same bags. So they go together? Yeah. The crinkly plastic. Yeah. This sort of stuff. No, this is a separate thing as well. Oh. So we sort out all the foil or mylar lined. Okay. It can't be sorted so... Uh, now, if some soft plastics get in with the mylar, that's okay, but the mylar can't go in there. So this Okay, is, now that's, and this is, so this is... All our clear plastics. So, okay, any sort of soft, non-crinkly plastic? No, and crinkly. And crinkly. Yeah. The okay. only difference, so you see through See, I'm, I'm confused by the mylar and the crinkly. Well, Can you, you show us the difference between... Do you between? see the shine? I see the shine. That's your mylar. Okay, and what's the crinkly plastic then? Is um, now give us an example of crinkly plastic. This, see, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't stretch. You can't. Okay. Stretch. But no shiny, sheeny, no. metallic surface on the inside. This stretches. Yep. That's the That's regular soft stuff. Plastic. That's soft plastic. Okay. Cello type plastic. Yep. Mylar looks like foil or metal. If okay. It's shiny and met metallic, yep. then that's the mylar. Think of your that's balloons. That's mylar, okay. Uh, yes, okay. okay. Your and so mylar, uh, sorry if I get confused that's here. Okay. So we have soft plastic and hard crinkly yep. plastic together. Yes. We have mylar, which can go with soft plastic, but no. not crinkly plastic? No. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, this recycling okay. stuff is hard. Mylar, shiny, metal, <clears throat> balloon plastics all go together. Okay. If a little bit, like this bag... And this is mylar too, lined. right? It's lined. Oh, it's lined, See, it's okay. it's mixed, but I think they can separate out. That's why it's okay if the bag that's holding all my little... Your goldfish crackers, your fruit roll-up wrappers, all of those things, a lot of your disposable snack foods come in those shiny plastic ones. Yep. See the, the shiny inside. Right, right, okay. Um, a lot of food containers. A lot of, a lot food, of food containers. Bags. Yep, go okay. in there. The dog and cat foods have the mylar line. Right. So that has to be separated. Okay. From the regular... Plas the regular soft plastic. Yeah. Okay. So and this is all that you're... Yeah. If you're ever wondering what to do with all those bags, if you don't use uh, reusable bags at the shopping center, yeah. this is what you do with them. We use if, them. if you want to get rid of them and not throw them in the garbage because then they wind up in the landfill, possibly in the ocean. Now I'll write not more so in the blog to kind of clear this up <clears throat> because some places only take the soft stretchy plastics and don't take the crinkly and it can get really confusing and sometimes I think that's a, a barrier for people that don't 
want to bother because there's so much information and there's so many rules to follow but I'll try and write it out and make it a little bit easier to follow it really this seems like a complicated but I keep bins in the sunroom and we'll show we'll do a little edit in and show okay. those bins that separates this styrofoam and the mylar and the plastics and I even keep one for clothing uh, and fabric recycling which we're not doing today because that's a different place even, even I can do it yeah and the kids can do it I can tell <laughs> and them, the kids can do it I may not know what I'm doing but <laughs> I can stuff the mylar in the correct yeah, if, bag if it's shiny and it looks space age and shiny then that's the mylar yep it, it's easier on a day-to-day -day basis but today we're taking it to the mobile depot it's Pacific mobile recycling and they're, um, uh, they have depots all around Victoria. And we go and we bring this, and it's a small fee, but we pack it up in the cart. We're heading out anyway, so it's not a special trip. And, and this is on top of the regular recycling that goes out, This right? is on top of the regular blue box recycling that we yeah, do. Yeah, the, the city Yeah, recycling. which is our, all our glass still, thankfully. Our tins, Hard plastics. Hard tins, plastics. Paper. Uh, paper. Yeah. yeah. And even things like, um, I think, Petra bricks yep. they will take now, and the waxed containers that your milk and cream yeah. and that um, I'm, I'm sad in. that they're phasing glass out. Glass, glass to me just seems like the original recyclable, and it's getting harder and harder to recycle glass, non-refundable glass. And again, we're lucky here because they'll take it as long as it's separated yeah. in a separate container. Okay. So if people okay. do that and follow that, then I don't see any reason why they should have to change that so okay. everybody keep your glass separate and it's to keep the workers safer Safe. is that yes. right okay because glass was breaking it was getting in the mix they were reaching in to you know lift handfuls of recycling the material out and getting cut so. right well that makes yeah. sense yeah. you don't want anybody hurt no. while doing this safety Maybe first dirty, but, uh... All right. Well, okay, so let's load it up and let's get going. Off to Pacific Mobile we are. What day does this happen to be here today? By coincidence it is Earth Day. So Earth Day. I think that's fantastic that we're recycling right. Earth Day. High five to us. Woo! High five, Zoe. Are you a recycler girl? Yes. You are, eh? Good girl. I'm going to plant my tree I got for Christmas last year. And here's all the recycling in the back of the car. It looks like a load, but that's four months worth of stuff that we can't put in the regular old blue box. That would have ended up in the landfill. Would have ended up in the landfill. Yeah. And when we get to the recycling depot, now it's early, it just opened, but you'll be astounded at how much gets diverted from the landfill. It's wonderful. I love to see it. It gets me all excited. <laughs> Okay, off Hi. We go. now we're off to the recycling depot, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that we all like to do. Well, okay, many people like to do, and that is take bevies to go. Oh, and I'm not sponsoring, or I'm not sponsored by a particular company, but this particular company happens to have just uh, reusable cups. And they look like they're paper cups, they're convenient like they're paper cups. But they're not, they're plastic. I know, evil plastic, but it is reusable. And if they're taken care of and washed by hand, cleaned, by hand, and it's just a quick rinse, honestly, with some warm water, you can use this for a long, long time. I've had these now for about a month and a half. Not only does it encourage me to take more coffee from home, because it's so easy just to fill it up, it's not bulky and heavy like a lot of the ceramic or metal ones. I know my habit has changed because these are so easy. So not only am I actually purchasing less um, coffee to go, so that's savings for my pocketbook, um, but I'm also um, reducing the number of paper cups that I use. I don't know that I've used a paper cup since the beginning of March. That's fantastic. Yeah. Maybe one or two, but before that it would have been, I don't know, dozens perhaps. Yeah. So. Anyway, just a shout out, they're $2 at that particular coffee shop, and, uh, and I So what what, uh, what happens when you go to a, a different uh, coffee shop? <clears throat> you apologize we... for your corporate coffee logo. 
Um, but you know what? Most people are pretty um, excited that you're going for the uh, reusable. And uh, I, I've gotten only positive um, response uh, from people. So it doesn't matter where you go. Even Hawaii. Even in Hawaii. Yeah, we <laughs> took these on the plane. Because we're silly like we, that. We took them to Hawaii Because they're us. so light. They're so and they light. were great. And throw them, yeah, throw them in, the, um, in my carry-on bag and... Yeah, it was fantastic. Use them on the plane instead of the little plastic cups and easy and you get more beverage. Hey! So, a little secret. Anyway, cheers. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. So here we are at Pacific Mobile Recycling and that's what it looks like. So all our soft stuff comes out. So here we go. Off to Pacific Mobile. <clears throat> Um, there are other things that can be recycled here that we just haven't thought of. So. What else can be recycled here, There's, Liz? Look at the sign. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. So mostly soft plastics, the mylar, and the styrofoam. I have a five. Do you have a five? I have a five. It is that. I might even have some loonies on two. The girls are waiting to take your bags if you like. Oh, thank you, ladies. Do you want your bags back? Nope, that's okay. It can all go. Excellent. Sweet. Should we have a look in the. Thank you. Should we have a look in the individual bins here? Look, crinkle plastic with mylar, soft plastic. <clears throat> Lots of food wrappers right there. Oh, and okay, so and people will bring the milk because some. Okay, that's the Tetris packs. No, these are just the wax. Um, those are uh, wax. Those are Tetra bricks. Yes. Okay. Those are just the wax containers because some, like Oak Bay, for example, does Won't not take those. those. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but Sandage does. Our, our, uh, more soft plastic, yeah. more crinkle. Oh, coffee cups. Okay. Oh, I love to see that. <laughs> now, why won't regular recycling take those? Um, so these can go with the milk containers. Is that the coffee cups? I'm not really sure, but we just send it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I think it's it's probably more of the waxed containers. Yeah. Because huh? the well, if the. Oh, ice thanks. cream containers pick anything and then we have the styrofoam which is a real problem over on this side so it gets separated into colored and non-colored styrofoam okay Well, like the, the milk containers, those are wax, or are they all plastic? We so. separate them. We can recycle them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> easy for you to say. Okay. And so but those I are plastic ones? Like, oh, as paper? As paper. Okay. 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 I understood that a lot of coffee cups had a very, 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 very like that, like, micro thin coating of plastic. Yeah, that's why. But for some reason, I know in our blue box, I'm going to leave it up. I want to tell this guy the end of the story. Oh, what's the end of the story? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, awesome. I take a picture of that. Oh, yeah, look at all this. Look at all this stuff staying out of the landfill. Yeah. It gets filed into here. This happens every week. Soft plastic. Yep. I take it to the yard. 250 pound bales. They, they melt it and squash it into bales. Okay. And then it goes to Vancouver and gets reused. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So is this just today from, from yep. 9 o'clock? Yep. For one hour. For one hour. Yeah. yeah. This is the best depot going. Is it the is this most one? active? It's the most popular. And, and Belmont. And Belmont, of course, yeah. for the Western community. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. Thank you.
Are you Very nice here to see. With them, or yeah. do you work for excellent? Well, I, I volunteer work. Yeah. <laughs> All of my do. Yep. Yeah. We'll get the website there. Yeah. Post it up in the comments. So this is very cool. The busiest depot, eh? Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty darn neat, Liz. Yeah. And how often do they come around? Is it once a month? Once a month at this location, but there's locations all around. Yep. They have locations in Vancouver and they're expanding their locations in Victoria as well. Okay. So if uh, you don't happen to live close to this one, then there's one some um, closer out to Oak Bay, Western communities. And do they do this up island as well, do you know? I don't know how far up island they or go. Or Vancouver but I even? I think it's the south, they, they do, do Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, a couple of places they've expanded okay. one day a month in Vancouver. Okay, well maybe we'll, we'll post some links in the comment section yeah. on yeah. Pacific Mobile Recycling and the good work that they do. Yes. Yeah, all right.